Yo, Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I wanted to share an update vlog type thing, like a channel update, because I haven't done that in ages. And I wanted to give you some insight into how I made, you know, over 100 beats in about, it was under a year. I think it was from August until now. It's January right about now. What I've been up to, what I plan to do moving forward with the channel and all that sort of stuff. Now, I did release an update video a few months ago where I laid my intentions out with the channel very, very clearly. So I'm not gonna go too deep into that. You know, we're focusing on music right about now. But I, I wanna express how excited and interested and happy I am to be able to focus on music full time. It's been a dream of mine since I was 16 to be able to, you know, focus on music full time. And I've finally come full circle and have the resources and have put myself in a position where I'm able to do that. So I'm very excited to share that with you. I'm very excited to share my content around music and to help you create better music and help you, you know, make money with, with your creativity and all that sort of stuff. In the last video like this that I put out, I was talking about the, uh, I haven't got my glasses on, let me put my glasses on. I was talking about the effects of changing the niche of your YouTube channel. I'm still feeling those effects, but in this video, I wanna go a little bit deeper into that because I did look at my stats from last year. Now, basically, all my previous videos from the previous years are still bringing in views and whatnot, still bringing in subscribers and still doing their thing. But the videos that I released last year didn't, didn't pop off as much as I would usually expect them to do after like six months and whatnot. And I think the main reason for that is YouTube not categorizing my videos as what they are supposed to be or not knowing what's going on because I haven't been making that content for long enough. So, you know, creating a new channel will bypass that if that's something that you, if, you, if you're thinking about changing your niche and whatnot, then you might want to create a new channel because you're basically going to have the same results as a new channel, maybe even a little bit as, as a, at a disadvantage if you have a channel that you've been building for a while and then you just change your niche completely. But I, I have found like some people ha who subscribe to me from back in the day when I used to release music on my channel and, you know, play gaming, uh, release gaming content at the same time. Some of those people have popped back up and, and uh, you know, coming out of the woodwork, which I totally didn't expect. I didn't expect anyone to still be here from when I was releasing music. But um, yeah, most of the videos that I put out last year didn't pop off that usually happen. Like usually I'll get a video that hits at least 10K. I'll get a couple videos that hit 20K, you know, per year. And that, that wasn't happening last year because I think of the categorization and simply because I didn't put out enough content last year. I was looking at my statistics, TubeBuddy gives you a statistics, uh, end of year statistics of how many videos you upload, uh, your stats and whatnot. And in 2018, I must have uploaded something like, I think it was like, was it 600 or 400? Something like that. I have over 400 or over 600 videos. I'm pretty sure the year before that was 600. So maybe it was 2018 was 400. And in 2019, I only uploaded 154 videos or, or around that. I, I'm not sure of the exact number off the top of my head. So if you look at, if you look it up, it might be a small discrepancy, but I'm within 10 or at least within 20. So I released less than half of the videos that I released in um, 2018. So that had a big impact on my channel, but that was because, you know, of my back issues and all that sort of stuff. This year, I've decided to just work through the pain, like regardless, because I don't want to be in the position that I was in last year, just feeling like I'm not working as much as I want to work and not being able to put out as much content as I wanna put out. So I'm back to the grind this year, whether my back hurts me or not. It feels like my back's getting better. Now I have been, you know, focusing on rehabilitation, like I'm, you know, doing a massage ball every morning. I've got some back stretcher thing. I've spent a bunch of money on this shit. And 
Uh, I'm back to working out four days a week. Uh, so hopefully I'm getting buffed this year. That is the goal. We're going to be consistent with that. Last year, I had to stop working out because of the back issues, was, which was really annoying. But now we're focusing moving forward. And yeah, I'm really excited for the new year because we're just we're focusing on music now. And the big, big announcement, which isn't really an announcement, but the big factor moving into February will be I'm back to actually creating songs and whatnot. I have been focusing the past few months on just getting good at music production. And if you listen to the first few beats that I was putting out, they were mediocre, yeah? <laughs> they were mediocre. But now I can make really, really good beats and I can make it like that. Like I can make it with my eyes closed. So now I know what I'm doing and I'm very, very happy for that because I spent all those months just grinding, figuring out what works and what doesn't. And at this point, I have definitely created over 100 beats, but I have uploaded and scheduled 97 beats to go out on my, my BeatStars page, which is, you know, my, my beat catalogue. The link will be... Do I put the link in my description? I don't think I do. It's jcarteray.com forward slash beats if you want to check it out. I'll put it in this description in case you're interested in hearing my beats and seeing what's up. But the thing is, I made a goal... Moving into, I think it was December I made this goal. I made a challenge for myself to upload 100 beats to my BeatStars page before I start writing songs. Because the, the situation I found myself in is I would, you know, I was making beats and whatnot. And then I'd be like, oh, this is a sick beat. Let me write a song to it. And then I was, I was stumped. I was getting writer's block and whatnot. And the songwriting wasn't coming as fluid and as quick as I wanted it to be. So I felt like I was just wasting time, like two hours, an hour. Not even, no, nah, I don't even think I dedicated two hours to it. But like an hour would go by and I wouldn't have anything that I, I liked. So I feel like, oh, I'm wasting time. Man. I ain't got the time to be doing this right about that. I ain't got the time to dedicate to this. I need to be getting good at making beats. So I decided to put that to the side so that I can get good at making beats so that I can consistently do that. And so that I have a wide catalog of beats on my catalog. So if people are coming to purchase beats, they got a bunch to scroll through. And now I don't feel the pressure on me feeling like, oh, I have to be producing. I have to be getting out new beats and that sort of stuff because I've already got a hundred there. So that's a big fat catalog for people to scroll through. So if you're a rapper or singer, especially rapping our singers like myself, go and check out those beats because you'll love them. Or you can get five of my best beats for free. Go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats. Honestly, I do need to update that um, package because I've just made way better beats now. So you can download that package. They're, they're good beats. Those are some of the best beats that I was making in, I think it was December or, or the month before December. And those were the best, those were the cream of the crop at the time. But since then, I've banged out a bunch more beats and I've learned a bunch more new skills. And now like my beats are in the next level. So you can buy my new beats or you can download, you know, some of my best beats that I was making a month ago or whatever for free. Link in the description. But yeah, all it took was just consistency. And I think that any anyone who's like dedicating themselves to production can do that really, really easily. Now, I have a bit of a different situation because I am a marketer first. I'm an entrepreneur first. So I had to deal with that sort of stuff. I had to be writing emails. I had to be setting up business um, funnels and and stores and all that sort of stuff. So I spent last year setting up the foundations of my business and moving my content in a new direction and doing a bunch of, you know, admin work, basically. So most of my year was spent doing that and basically transitioning from what I was doing to what I want to do. So if I was just focusing on making beats, I feel like I would have just made way more in way less time. But the big thing that I want you to take away is you can basically achieve anything that you want to if you just focus on it, focus on it really, really hard for at least a year, 
execute at least a hundred times, whatever you want to do, do it a hundred times over, focus on it for a year. And by the end of that period, you'll be at least good at it. Like you might not be great, but you'll be good. Like you won't be shit anymore. You'll be at least just above mid-level. You'll at least be competent. If at the very least, if you've got no talent, you'll be competent. So it's all about just focus and dedication and knowing what you want and going after it. I want to make money from music. That has been my dream for a very long time. I've created other businesses in order to make an income while I make music so that I don't have to make money on money from music, but I've always wanted to make money from music. Now that doesn't necessarily mean from selling beats or whatever, but I want it to be connected to the musicality because I really, really love music and I'm re-finding my, my love and passion for music again as I'm just diving deep into it through this new year. And I have made money from music. I've made, you know, some sales of like my templates and whatnot. I'm going to be real with you. Haven't sold any beats yet. <laughs> I haven't sold one beat. Let's be 100% real. Haven't sold one beat. I started uploading beats to my Beat Stars page Beat Stars page in, I think, I think it was August. I think it was August. I'm not 100% sure. But I haven't really promoted my beats to sell at all. Like, I haven't got the link to my beats in my descriptions or my videos. Uh, last year, I didn't really put out a bunch of videos on music and whatnot. I think I maybe put out 30, which is dead for a whole year. 30. Um, so... I hadn't really pushed the beat selling stuff. I hadn't really been spending money on ads. Now, this year, this is the year to sell beats. Now, I've got the catalog. I've got a catalog of 100 beats. Now, I can look at the beats and be like, okay, this is, a, this is a great beat. This is a great beat. This is a good beat. Let me focus on marketing these. And then, you know, that's when the sales are going to come in. So, this year, I'm planning to sell beats. But I have been selling, you know, like my FL Studio template, um... What else? I did sell my loop kit. I sold my loop kit for the loops for YouTubers. If you're if you're a YouTuber or you're creative, you make videos and you want loops for the background music in your videos, link will be in the description down below. Sold that. That is a product that I think is going to do very, very well. And this year is the year, man. This year is the year that everything's just going to be taken up a notch because... Focusing on one thing is the thing that I've been missing out on for a very long time. Like, I swear, in 2017, I was just focused on art, so fair enough. But I think... Was I playing other games? I don't know, but I was. I think I was playing... Was I playing official them times? I, maybe the year before I was playing official art, which just takes a lot of time. But generally on my YouTube channel, I haven't really been focused on one specific thing. I've been dabbling. I've been a variety channel for a while, but now I'm able to focus on one specific thing, which is music. I'm focusing on music and musicians and creatives. So it's kind of more than one thing, but it all fits together. I'm focusing on, you know, how to make money from music, how to make music, how to build a business around your creative endeavors, your art, that sort of stuff. So like, I'm really, really honed down on focus. So now is when you'll see the real growth and the growth for the long term. Everything else, I've done, you know, some I've done some growth and then I've moved on to the next thing. I've done some growth and then I've moved on to the next thing. That's why I have 40,000 plus subscribers that are all interested in other things that are coming in like, hey, make this type of video or make that type of video. I don't like this content. I want that content, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm focused specifically on serving one type of person or two type of people. I'm serving both rappers, you know, singing rappers and producers. So people who want to make their own beats for themselves and people who want to make their own beats to sell to other people or want to record their, their own songs and, and whatnot. So I'm very excited about that because that's all the stuff that I am super excited to do myself. And that's all the stuff that I'm going to be doing on a daily basis, just making music. I'm just going to focus on making music and then creating content around making music. So it just gels together perfectly and I'm happy, like I'm happy as fuck, man. Like this is, I, this is probably the happiest that I've been in a while. And it's 
mainly because I'm doing something that I just love so much and something that I really, really, really want to improve at. So I'm still, I think I'm at a point where I feel that I'm good. I feel that I'm, you know, very good, but I can still get better. And I feel like I'll always feel like that. I always feel like I can get better. So finding something which I can always improve at feels like it's going to keep me satisfied for the long term because I, I'm a person that's just addicted to improvement, addicted to progress. But I feel like this has given you enough update <laughs> in what's going on and what we're doing at the moment, what I'm focusing on. I'm still putting out the daily emails and whatnot. And yeah, if you want to get five of my best beats for free, link in the description. Five loops, link in the description. And if you want to check out the five most important steps to YouTube success, link in the description. There was one other thing that I wanted to touch on. Um, I wanted to talk about the reason why I'm not doing YouTube growth content right about now. Let me just take a sip of my coffee. Before that gets cold. Uh, there's a very good reason for this. The thing is, I have created over a hundred videos on how to grow your YouTube channel. So I've put more than enough information out there. Everything that you need is already on the channel. So I don't really need to create that content anymore. But I'm not doing that content for now. I will be doing it in the future where I focus on how to grow your YouTube channel as a musician and what to do to promote your music and all that sort of stuff. But obviously I need to do that for myself first before I can teach it to others. But the main reason why is, well, the main reason was because I've already created the content. But there's also something else. Like when you make that type of content, when you make YouTube growth content, most people don't search for that content. So you're not getting a lot of views. You're not getting a lot of people's eyeballs on, on that sort of content. A lot of people don't appreciate it. And then the small minority of people that do watch it, they don't leave comments or whatnot. They don't really, you know, interact as far as I've seen, you know, not a lot on my channel anyways. And then you'll get the the naysayers, the, the people who was saying, you know, you bought subscribers and all this sort of stuff. And it's just annoying. I just can't be bothered to deal with those people. Like if I'm making content to help people and all I'm getting back is people moaning, saying, oh, you bought subscribers and, and you know, just chatting shit then I, I feel like might as well just not do it. Like, cause this ain't doing anything for me. Like I don't, I don't need to put out that content. Like it's not paying my bills to put out that content. I'm doing it out of goodness of my heart to help other people and to get that sort of response back. It's like, fuck you then. <laughs> I'll just focus on my own thing. So yeah, I am focusing on my own thing because that's what I want to do. And that's what I need to do right about now because I have transitioned from something else. And now I need to, make this solid and build the foundation for what I'm moving uh, to do in the future. And basically, like, because of the back issues and whatnot, I had limited time to focus on, you know, certain types of content. And yeah, I'm just going to focus on the content that I really, really, really want to make. Focus on the content that's really, really going to help the people who I want to help. And then down the line, when my when my um, views are more consistent because I've built an audience around one thing, then I can venture into the, the YouTube guys again without people jumping in and be like, oh, blah, 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 you must have bought subscribers. By the way, if you're, if you're still a dumbass and you think that I've bought subscribers, I have never bought subscribers. I was fucking poor before I got to 10,000 subscribers. I was still poor after 10,000 subscribers. I don't know where you think I got the money from to buy subscribers, but buying subscribers is really, really, really expensive. And if you watched my channel over the time, which obviously you haven't, because you know the answer to this question if you, if you did, then you would have seen the organic growth over time. And you would have seen, I was playing this game, then I played that game. Then I did that. Then I did this. If you look over my channel and you look at the stats over time, you'll see consistent growth. If you go to my my page, youtubefornoobs.com, you'll see all the proof behind how I grew my channel to about 30,000 subscribers. And then, you know, after that, it was just the same thing, basically. Like, I don't care about getting subscribers. I don't care about being big, I see people saying, oh, if you stuck to arc, you'd be big or whatever. I don't give a shit about being big. 
Why would I want to be big? Why do I care about people knowing who I am? Like, I want to do what I want to do for a living. I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to be popular. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what the next man thinks about me. I don't give a shit. All I care about is being able to do what I want to do on a daily basis and enjoying my life. The, the, the only reason why my channel, why I get more subscribers and all that sort of stuff is because that's the side effect of doing what I do. That's the side effect of doing what I do. I want to put out content to help other musicians and I want to put out content that helps you achieve your, your goals and whatnot. But the goal isn't to become super famous and, and, you know, be a big YouTuber. I don't... Who gives a shit, man? Like, at the end of the day, like, is that... Re do you really think that's going to make you happy? The only people who I feel think that's going to make them happy are super insecure people and children. And this channel's not for kids, yeah? Copper can't get me. This channel ain't for kids. But that's the end of the video. You know all the free shit's in the, in the description. I don't want to waste your time. I'll see you in the next video because I don't know when the next time I'm going to do this is. Maybe another four or five months. I don't know. We'll do another roundup. But peace out. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again. Let me know what your goals are for 2020 in the comment section down below. I will be releasing a course on how to create an R&B trap beat. If you're interested in that, you got any questions about that, let me know in the comments down below. I believe that's, I'm going to focus on that in February. And then for the rest of the year, basically, I'm just going to be focusing. Okay, my alarm went off. So that stopped my phone from recording. For the rest of the year, I'm going to be focused on making and releasing music. That's, that's all I want to say there. So I'm going to try and release at least a song a month. Not starting with this month, probably... I don't know, depends on how long it takes me to finish off these three beats to get to 100. I'm assuming I'll do that by the end of the week and then we'll see how long it takes me to make a song, master it and get it ready for release. I think it takes like four weeks for them to push it out to the actual platforms. So I have to take that into account as well. And then I'll do all my planning and, and come back and, and give you like concrete numbers but those are my plans for the year let me know your plans in the comment section down below now i'm gonna have to fucking like splice these videos together before i upload it which is really really annoying because iMovie likes to take ages to do that sort of shit but you know that is the life that we're living i'll see you in the next video peace out